As the debate over school mask mandates heats up starting tomorrow in Duval County Public Schools, your children will once again be required to mask up at school unless a doctor has signed the medical opt out form. On your side, Haley Harrison spoke with a Jacksonville doctor tonight who says the district's emergency policy couldn't have started soon enough. A 90 day mask requirement starts Tuesday in Duval County Public Schools, and this time there are penalties. Students can be suspended after their third and fourth violations. Here are three parts of the emergency policy you need to know. One, masks are required on the bus and in schools for students, teachers, and staff, except for when eating and outside. Two, masks will also be required indoors at performing arts and sporting events. Three, to opt out, families must have a doctor sign the school district's medical form. The, the numbers in the children's hospital remain high of COVID cases. Um, unfortunately, a child died in St. John's County last week, um, and family has stated that uh, the patient died of COVID. Uh, a couple of children died at Wolfson's this past week, so... Um, I'm grateful that we have this opportunity to protect our children. Dr. Jennifer Cower is a part of Doctors Fighting COVID, the group that's been calling for mass mandates in districts across the state, including Duval County Schools. So I know all parents are trying to do the, what they believe is best for their kids. And in my medical opinion right now, the best for the majority of children is to wear a mask at school, protect themselves and protect the other kids around them. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis appealed a ruling by a Leon County judge that decided school boards have the power to impose student mask mandates. The State Department of Education Commissioner also notified the Duval County School Board that it's investigating its mask requirement over the concern it violates parents' rights. The school board responded stating its policy does not break any rules because there is a medical opt-out. Families were given ample time to get that form filled out, and the mask requirement is only for 90 days. I'm Healy Harrison, First Coast News, on your side. Duval County School Board Chair Elizabeth Anderson tells us that Superintendent Dr. Diana Green will be reviewing the plans surrounding the investigation during tomorrow's school board meeting. The On Your Side team will be at that meeting. We'll bring you the latest right here tomorrow on First Coast News at 11.